got a good one today. But I've been waiting for this for a little minute. Let me just get to it. Boom! Ooh-wee. What'd that say? What'd that say? DJI? D D D DJI? That Ronin? That C? Ooh, it's lit! So I've been itching for a gimbal for a little bit now, and I've been wanting like the Weevil, like the Weevil Lab. Thought about grabbing the Ronin S Essentials kit, and then boom, DJI just dropped this on my head. I'm like, oh, I got to grab that. So I hit it up like as soon as they announced it, put my order in. It came in, and let's do this unboxing. The first thing I noticed was like even the package is like light and um small. I ain't never owned a gimbal before, so you know I really ain't know what to expect. But I mean, off top I can see that it's it's light. Got this little plastic thing. I'm going ahead and rip this off. I had a bunch of DJI project before. So, I mean, I already know what to expect. I mean, I like their products. It's really high quality. And I guess you got this little tape right here. So I got a drone, the Mavic 2 Pro. And I love that thing. So of course, when DJI said they was coming out with a new gimbal, I was like, oh yeah, I'm on that. All right, so how you get this little sleeve off? I'm gonna have to just peel it off right here. I'm making a mess. That'll do it. Ugh, ugh. I'll toss that to the side. Like this packaging is nice. Like I already, it's a little foam case. Got a little two snaps there. So let's pop it open. All right, we got that. This with this. Okay, okay, okay. I see you. Damn. I don't even want to touch it, boy. I ain't never used no gimbal before, man. I don't even know what I'm getting myself into. But, of course, got your books. Yeah. You don't want to open. I go beast mode on it. I go beast mode on it. Just gotta go beast mode on it real quick. But yeah, just normal manuals, books. This one's pretty thick. It might got some good information in there, but I ain't gonna find out. <laughs> Drop that to the side. All right. Now, this is what? Guess this is the battery grip. Got the battery grip. Drop that right here. And this would be the extended grip, the tripod extended grip. Let's take this little plastic off. Feels good. I mean, it is plastic, but it's like feels like some good quality plastic. It doesn't feel cheap at all. Feels good in the hands. <laughs> so let's drop this down right here. Moving on. Got the. Oh, don't break it. Got the phone grip. Attach it to, the, I guess, the side somewhere. And then. Shit, you put it somewhere. We'll figure it out. But that's the phone grip phone holder I would say got some cables in here what it do down one two three right you got like a USB C to USB C it's one of the cables got another a micro USB to USB and then you got like a standard USB 2.0 to USB C so you got all the cables on deck 
We got a little tool kit. I need this for something. We'll figure it out. All right. Oh, this is like the little quick release plate. It's like real small, real small and light. I can't even tell you what this is. It's something. We'll figure it out. Slide it to the side. All right, now here go the big boy. Oh. All right. Dang. So it already comes locked in place. I mean, I did see a few videos on this, and it got like these locking mechanisms. Oh, she got one right here, so you can lock it in place, so it don't be flipping, flapping around all over the place. It's got one right here. I don't even know where the rest at. One right here, one right here. So that's one right here. That's one right here. There should be another one somewhere. But dang, it feels good. It's not too heavy. And it feels good. So, oh, something else in the box. So I'm gonna put this right here. What is this? Oh, this is like the little lifter plate. Like you make it rise up a little higher. So that's in the box too. Well, look like that's everything in the box. Let me put this down right here. Throw that to the side. So this is pretty much everything that comes in the package. Got all the cables. Extended grip. So I'm gonna attempt to put all this together. Hopefully I don't break nothing, but I'm gonna attempt to put all this together real quick. Give me a second. I'll be right back. Alright. So y'all gonna put this together with me. We, we gonna figure this out together. I mean, so I know we got the battery grip. And we got little tripod mount so i guess we can screw this in right here i think this part is pretty is simple enough so that's up in there let's lay this down like this all right so we got the big boy it looks like it should just slide in right here okay then it got like this little lock slider, so. Uh, I think that's how it go. To go all the way. I don't know. I mean, it feel like it's in there, it ain't moving. I, they would think it go all the way, but it doesn't go all the way. Okay, got this cool little, little joystick right here. Little, M button, the record button. The grip feels nice. But I think it's together. I think I gotta throw this on my camera. Oh, I guess these are what the screws are for. <laughs> I guess these are what the screws are for. You know what? Since I got technically got one camera. And I got this old camera that I used to use to record my videos with it's over there. So I'm gonna grab that and we're gonna try to balance it with my other camera. It should be small and light enough to get the job done. And after I figured all that out, then I'll try it with my A6400. But yeah, one sec. All right, I'm back. I got the, the Nikon. What is this is the Nikon D3300. So I used to record on before I got my A6400. It got the job done. It's not the best camera in the world to to record with because uh the autofocus is straight trash. But yeah, it served its purpose while it did. And I think the payload on this is four pounds. This feels like it weigh maybe two two pounds so it should work out right so about to drop the 
quick release plate on here. Let's see, light, heavy. So got these little markings on the back that tells you where to align it if it, the camera is light or the camera is heavy. So that's a good little marking. And I'm assuming these are little screws. I got a little screwdriver. Yeah, maybe I don't. All right, I got my screwdriver. Screw this bad boy in here now. All right, do about the third. Oh, damn, this is too big. Maybe there's another one. Let's try this one. Too big too. Third time to charm. All right. It's too big. These are quarter 20 screws. Quarter 20s. So, like we got this right here, that might be it. So maybe I didn't need a screwdriver. Let's try to bust this in here real quick. All right, I'm confused. I'm utterly confused right now. So this definitely does not go right here. So this is a quarter 20. Okay, you gotta screw it. So we gotta screw it in like all the way at the end first. And then it slides. And you put it where you want it to go. Hey, hey, we, we figuring this out together. Sit back, relax, enjoy the ride. <laughs> Tighten up a little bit, make sure it's straight. Okay. So, it's, it's in there. All right, so now, Before y'all start judging, remember, I have never used a gimbal before. All right, so now let's put this in here like, okay, it's kind of tight. All right, let's try this side. Okay, it's not working. The funny part about it, I've seen a few videos and they made this look real easy. I'm pretty sure if you've done it before, it would be easy. But this just not sliding in. It's easy. I would expect, oh shit, I think it's stuck now. Uh-oh. Whoa. All right, so what it is, it's this little piece right here at the bottom. I was supposed to loosen up and then that allowed me to just slide this right in. So boom. I don't have much clearance on this side, so I don't know if that's going to be a problem or not. So then I can tighten this in here. 
And as I said again, I have zero clue what I'm doing. Just winging it. Boom. So that's on there. What's next? All right, that was not easy. And I think it's balanced okay. So just hit this power button and let's see if it works. <sighs> of course, it has no power. Be right back, charge it up, and we'll finish it. All right, one thing I notice as I'm going to go charge this up is it comes with a shit ton of cables, but it doesn't come with a charging brick. So it charges with USB type C. You see that? So charge with USB type C, it has the cables, USB to USB type C, USB C, USB C, but there is no charging brick. I mean, I have a plenty of them, but just want to point that out. It doesn't come with a charging brick, so you'll need one. All right, so we got a little juice now. Um, charged it up for about a good 15 minutes. So let's turn the power on. And see what it do. I'm not sure what's supposed to happen. Okay, I turned the power on. But I'm not sure what exactly is supposed to happen once I turn the power on. All right, it's alive. It's alive. Doing the auto tool now. Got some action finally. Let's see. <laughs> I got it. I think I need a little bit more work on balancing, but oh, got the joystick working. Oh, yeah. So it's, it's a couple of things I still need to test out. I downloaded the app and I, the app comes with a bunch of features like a follow focus on um, the little move your phone up and down that will control the, the gimbal. So we're gonna get into all that stuff, man. But I gotta take a little second to play around with this and really figure it out and then Make a quick little another video on how I use it with the A6400. But for right now, it looked like the initial setup is complete. You know what? Let's let, matter of fact, let's just try this real quick. Let's try to. Uh, Okay, that's the virtual joystick. Where's the... All right, I don't know how to do it, but we gonna figure it out. That's it for me. Thanks for watching. This was Joe. This was another Joe Tech Talk. And I'm out. But before I go, 
if anything y'all want to see drop a comment below hit that like button if you ain't already subscribed hit that subscribe button hit that bell notification and yeah drop some comments below man let me know what y'all want to see that's it for me i'm out catch you next one